Falls, Lennox. Today is Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. Hunter James, Hunter James and I are happy to share today's news with you. We are from Mr. Sarah's third grade class. Let's start by pledging allegiance to the flag of our great United States. Please stand, place your right hand over your heart, and we'll begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please return to your seats. Now here's James to bring you more of today's news. Thank you, Brielle. Sunny skies are expected today in Olmstead Falls and the temperature will reach a high of 91 degrees. 91 degrees? Everyone go, whew. <laughs> there you go. The cafeteria will be preparing a great meal for you to enjoy today. If you are buying a hot lunch today you can choose either asian to go or chicken patty good morning bulldogs happy tuesday morning it's mrs scott here hope you had a beautiful long weekend and are ready to get back to it it is september and so our word of the month is responsible so responsible is taking care of what you need to take care of and so our happy thought is going to be do the right thing, even when nobody is looking. Um, we want to make good choices, whether our teacher is right there watching us or not. We always want to make choices and do the right thing and be responsible because it's the right thing to do. Stay tuned for a video that's going to talk all about our word of the month. Have a great day. Has anyone ever told you that you need to learn to be responsible? Have you ever wondered what it means to be responsible and why it's so important? Let's find out in today's episode of Character Education Responsibility. Being responsible means that you take ownership over your decisions and your actions. Being responsible can help you to become a dependable person and a problem solver. It might sound hard, but it can actually be pretty amazing. If you always feel like life is happening to you and you don't really have any control, here's some great news. Taking responsibility for your decisions and your actions puts you in control. There are always circumstances that are out of our control, but the great thing is that we get to choose how we react within those circumstances. Here's an example. Going to school is something that you have to do, but you get to decide how you feel and how you act. Let's say that for whatever reason you decide you don't like going to school. So when you're there, you're kind of tuned out, you act like you don't really care about what's going on because, hey, you already decided that you don't want to be there. Now let's say that you're not really sure how you feel about school, but you're going to keep an open mind. Maybe you're not super into spelling practice, but math seems like it could be okay. And then if you do well, you can apply for a robotics selective. So you decide to apply yourself. You do well, and you join the tech class that you wanted. Then you discover you love it. I mean, you just made a robot that can talk and carry your backpack. <laughs> the only difference between these examples is that you decide to apply yourself in the second one. You decided not to waste your time. I mean, you have to be there anyway. Why not make the most of it? You can go through life thinking that you don't have the circumstances you need to be successful, or maybe that other people should be doing more to help you achieve your dreams. Or you can decide to be responsible for yourself. Remember, being responsible means taking ownership over your actions and decisions and making good choices, like being on time, getting your work done, and cleaning up after yourself. So go take control of your life and be responsible. Now over to Hunter. Joe. Joey. Thank you, James. Remember to always be your bulldog best for a chance to hear your name announced. That's our news for today. Have a terrific Tuesday, and let's go, go Falls!